This video will solve where we have x on both sides, or basically a letter on both sides again, and we also have a number on both sides also. So we'll look at this page two, these four examples, and then these examples on page three. Okay. So page two, write this one down. It's seven m plus two equals six m plus five. So seven markers plus two dollars costs the same as six markers plus five dollars. What's the cost of one marker, right? So please write that down. Now, there are actually a number of ways to solve this, but what we know already is um, just adding and subtracting to both sides. So we're basically just going to use one, one way to solve all of these uh, for now, and we can look at other ways later. But for now, what we're going to do is try to get the letters on the left, okay, and the numbers on the right. So if you want to get the letters on the left, you've got to get rid of 6m. So let's do that first. We'll just do that so we can get all the letters on the left, and then we'll get all the numbers on the right, okay? So how would you get rid of 6m? What's the opposite of positive 6 marbles? Or markers? Well, you would subtract 6m, 6 markers, right? 6 markers, take away 6 markers, is no markers, nothing. And you don't subtract that from the 5 because this is dollars. So these are markers and dollars. Okay, so we've got to think about like terms here, right? So 6m, take away 6m is nothing. And we're left with 5 on the right hand side, okay? So that makes 0, and then we just have 5 on the right. On the left hand side, we also need to subtract 6m. Whatever we do to the, to the right, the one side we do to the other. So we subtract the 6m from the right, we need to subtract 6m from the left. 7 markers take away 6 markers is what? It's 1 marker, or m, 1 marker, or m, whichever. And we also have a plus 2. Okay. So the numbers come down, we didn't do anything with the numbers, the 2 and the 5 but we did subtract six markers from both sides. The trick with these questions is to take two steps, take your time. Get the letters on the left, the numbers on the right. Now we have m, now we have m plus two equals five. We've solved something like this before. What should we do now? To leave the m all by itself, if I want to leave the m by itself, what do I do with the plus two? How do I get rid of a plus two? I need to subtract 2, right? So I subtract 2 from the left. If I subtract 2 th from the left, what do I do to the right? Also need to subtract 2 from here as well, right? So that means we have 1m, so negative, or plus 2 minus 2 is 0, and on the left we have just m, right? 1m or m equals 5 minus 2, 3. So m equals 3 is the answer, right? And um, just so you know, there are other ways of solving this, but we're, we're just going to stick to the one way. I just want to go over the other ways, though, because uh, I'll just do, try to do it really quick. I mean, we could have um, subtracted 2 at the beginning. That would get 7m equals 6m plus 3, and then subtract 6m. And that would give m equals uh, 3. Okay, So that's one way. We could also have, in fact, subtracted um, 5 from both sides, but we'd need a few skills we haven't gone over yet. That would give 7m minus 3 equals 6m. Okay, Then we would probably subtract 7m from both sides. We would get negative 3 equals negative 1m, but we would have to divide by negative 1 on both sides, which we haven't gone over yet, and that would give positive 3 equals m, or m equals 3 again. So with these questions, there's actually, we could also have subtracted 6m from both sides. There's actually four ways of doing it. We're just going to focus on the one way at the moment, which is just to get all the letters on the left, okay? So we're going to focus on getting rid of this guy here. Like the, in this case, write this one down, 4y plus 1 equals 3y plus 7. Okay, we're going to focus on getting rid of the 3y. 
So there's, there's, there are different ways of doing it, but we're just going to focus on one way for now, and we'll look at other ways later. Okay. So to get rid of the 3y, what would you do? So right now it's 4y plus 1 equals 3y plus 7. You've got to get rid of this guy. How would you get rid of 3y? Because you want the y's on the left, the numbers on the right. Okay. So to get rid of 3y, you would subtract 3y. Okay. You see, if you subtract 3y, that means on the right-hand side, 3 yo-yos, take away 3 yo-yos is nothing, no yo-yos. And you're just left with nothing plus 7 or 7, right? And that's good because now we'll have all of our y's on the left, okay? So we also need to subtract 3y from the left, okay? So 4y minus 3y is 1y and we still have the plus one okay plus one so we've got to think about adding like terms also right in any case we we don't have any y's on the right hand side anymore we just have y's on the left now we want to get all the numbers on the right hand side so we want to get rid of the plus one how would you get rid of plus one so to isolate y to get y by itself You've got to get rid of plus one, you've got to subtract one, right, from both sides. Okay? So if you subtract one from both sides, you're left with one minus one is zero, and this is just y, y equals, and seven minus one is six. Okay? So take this one down, it's three x minus five equals two x minus one. Three x minus five equals two x minus one. 3x minus 5 equals 2x minus 1. Take it down. By all means, press pause and try to solve it yourself. It's a good idea to do it yourself and make a mistake right now while you're watching the video so you can see the explanation in case you go wrong. Uh, and my trick is, my hint is, what we're going to focus on is just sub get r getting rid of this letter here, okay? So see if you can get rid of the 2x on the right hand side. How would you get rid of him? You would subtract 2x from the right. If you subtract 2x from the right, what do you do to the left? You've also got to subtract 2x from the left. And remember, don't combine the negative 5 with this negative 2. You've got to combine the 3 with the negative 2 because these are x's. So combine the like terms. Okay. So what do you get on both sides now if you subtract 2x from both sides? Write down what you get on both sides. So on the left hand side, 3x minus 2x should give you 1x or x, right? And we still have the minus 5 on the, on the left hand side. On the right hand side, 2x minus x is 0, no x, nothing, but we still have negative 1. So you should have x minus 5 equals negative 1. Okay? Now, how are you going to get this x by itself? Because at the end of the day, we want x equals something, right? So to get the x by itself, you need to get rid of this negative 5. How do you get rid of a negative 5? You've got to add, right? What do you add? You've got to add 5 to both sides, right? If you add 5 to this side, negative 5 plus 5 gives what? 0. So that's 0, and you're just left with 1x or x. x equals and on the right hand side it's negative 1 plus 5 and what does that give you? negative 1 plus 5 positive 4 so we have x equals 4 so write this one down see if you can do it all by yourself 14x minus 3 equals 13x minus 8 write the whole thing down press pause on the video do, do it all yourself and then check the video for the answer okay I hope you press pause 
I'm going to do it now, but sir, please write it down. 14x minus 3 equals 13x minus 8. Please write it down, solve the whole thing all by yourself, and then play the video to check. Okay, I hope you tried it yourself. I'm going to go over it now. What we're practicing in this video is getting rid of that letter there. Getting rid of the 13x from both sides. Okay, There are other ways to solve it, but we're just going to focus on that for now. If I get rid of the 13x, I need to subtract him right from both sides. Did you get that? The reason I'm doing that is because on the right hand side 13x minus 13x is no x, nothing. 0x, right? 0. And 0x minus 8 is just 0 minus 8, that's just negative 8. Okay? And on the left, so we have the x, the x's are gone from the right hand side and now on the left hand side 14x minus 13x is 1x or x and we still have minus 3. So it's 1x minus 3 equals negative 8. And to get the x by itself, I'll need to do what? Add 3 to both sides. Okay. So that'll negative 3 plus 3 is 0. So I'll just have x on the left and negative 8 plus 3 is negative 8 plus 3 is, that's 8 negatives, 3 positives, that's negative 5. Okay, so x equals negative 5. Okay, on to page 3, and we'll do some examples with fractions in them. So write this one down. Negative 7y minus 2 fifths equals negative 8y plus 1 tenth. So again, there are many way, There are four different ways to solve this, but the way we're going to focus on is getting rid of that letter in in the equation. Okay. So how would I get rid of a negative eight y? You've got to add eight y. to the right, and if you do that you must also add 8y to the left. Okay. So what do you get on both sides? Negative 7y plus 8y is 7 negatives, 8 positives, that's 1y. Right? And we also have a negative 2 fifths equals negative 8y plus 8y is 0. No y's. Nothing. So we just have that equals one tenth. Okay. And now you need to solve for y. How are you going to solve for y here? Well, you need to add two fifths to both sides, right? So on the left hand side, we have negative two fifths plus two fifths, that's zero, and, and a y. So on the left, we just have y. On the right hand side we have a tenth plus two fifths. So we're adding these two fractions. We need to find a common denominator and add the fractions, right? So we need to make the bottoms the same. This denominator is 10, this is 5. What do I multiply 5 by to get 10? 5 times what gives 10? 5 times 2. So multiply this guy by 2 over 2 and we'll have like, we'll have a uh, well, we have like terms, we'll have tenths, right? So this becomes one tenth plus two times two, four, over five times two, ten. One tenth plus four tenths, okay? Which is how many tenths? Five tenths. So y equals five tenths. Um, and the question is, is that in lowest terms? So it's not in lowest terms. Put that in lowest terms, what do you get? 5 to 5 goes once, 5 to 10 goes twice, and that equals 1 half. So y equals a half is the answer, right? Or half equals y, right? Okay, please write this one down, do it all by yourself. Negative 8x plus 1 sixth equals negative 9x plus, or minus 2 thirds. Negative 8x plus 1 sixth equals negative 9x minus 2 thirds. Please write this down, do the whole thing yourself. And if you make a mistake, just watch the video, okay?
So it's a good idea to practice these uh, while while you're doing the video homework so that uh, you can catch anything you didn't quite understand and, and learn it before you get to the homework. So I hope you press pause and tried it yourself. I'm going to go over it now. What we're practicing in this video is getting rid of that variable there. right? So getting rid of the the negative 9x in this case. So how do I get rid of negative 9x? I don't subtract, I need to add. Okay, does that make sense? Because negative 9x plus 9x will be 0. So I need to add 9x to both sides. Okay. So if you didn't get that step, please press pause and continue from here. Okay, I'll do it now. Negative 8x plus 9x is 1x. 1x plus 1 sixth equals negative 9x plus 9x, 0x or nothing, and we just have negative 2 thirds on the right. Negative 2 thirds, okay? So now we need to solve for x. How do I get this x guy by himself? I need to get rid of a positive 1 sixth. How do I get rid of a positive 1 sixth? I need to subtract 1 sixth from both sides, okay? Subtract 1 sixth from both sides. That will leave me with 1 sixth minus 1 sixth is 0. So on the left, I just have 1x or x equals negative 2 thirds minus 1 sixth. I need to make the bottoms the same, right? How do you get a common denominator? You've got 3 here, but you've got 6 here. 3 times what gives 6? 3 times what gives 6? 3 times 2 gives 6. So multiply this fraction by 2 over 2, and that'll give us like terms, in fact. It'll give us like fractions. So this is negative 2 times 2, 4 sixths, right? This is negative 1 sixth. So what's negative 4 sixths minus 1 sixth? Or a negative 4 6 added to a negative 1 6. 4 negatives and 1 negative is 5 negatives, so negative 5 6. Okay. x equals negative 5 over 6.